Welcome to episode 172 of Build Your House Yourself University by Hi You. I'm your host and fellow student, Michelle Nelson, and together we'll learn the basics of home design and construction and demystify the building process so we can think through our options in advance and build quality, well laid out dream homes with or without a general contractor. Where you place your dishwasher can increase or decrease your kitchen's functionality and flow. And although there's no one exact place that dishwashers should universally go, this week I have a list of quick tips that you should think about before deciding where to put your dishwasher. If you haven't heard our dishwasher buying guide quick tips, you might want to take a listen to episode 80. But for now, let's get into our dishwasher perfect placement quick tips. Number one, this may seem obvious, but you'd be surprised about how many people miss this one. Locate the dishwasher directly next to a sink to make loading rinsed dishes easier. Although there are many dishwashers on the market that don't require dishes to be rinsed before they're loaded, many people still rinse before they load their dishes into the dishwasher. With a dishwasher adjacent to the sink, you'll have fewer steps when cleaning up the dishes and you'll have less water dripping from rinsed dishes to the floor. Bonus here is that putting the dishwasher next to the sink will make plumbing less complicated and less costly. But here's a warning. If you rinse your plates and pots too well before putting them in the dishwasher, the dishwasher may not wash them very well. That's because many of today's quality dishwashers have soil sensors that assess how dirty your dishes are and they adjust their washing power accordingly. The more soiled the dishes, the more power and water the dishwasher will use to clean the dishes. If you do too much pre-rinsing, the dishwasher won't use much power. Number two, place the dishwasher near drawers or cabinets that house everyday dishes and flatware. This makes unloading the dishwasher more convenient. Your goal should be to take only one or two steps between the dishwasher and cupboards. Your dishwasher can be adjacent to these cupboards or opposite of them, as long as you don't have to move too far between them. Maybe add a smaller upper drawer for forks, knives, and spoons, and a larger lower drawer for plates and bowls that you use regularly, and put those beside the dishwasher. And you can locate the dishwasher across from a cabinet or open shelves where you store everyday glasses and cups. Sometimes placing cabinetry for dishes and flatware near the dishwasher is not possible because of the size and shape of your kitchen. Small, L-shaped, and U-shaped kitchens may be especially challenging. But even if you can't place these cupboards near your dishwasher, try hard to put your everyday dishes and glasses in drawers and cabinets that can be fully opened at the same time as your dishwasher door. So, at the same time as your dishwasher door for practical unloading. Speaking of that, number three, ensure that wherever you put your dishwasher, there's ample space behind the dishwasher door so the door doesn't block work areas or walkways when it's open. If you have the space, shoot for at least 48 inches of free space behind the dishwasher and avoid having the dishwasher door Open into an area where someone would stand when using the stove, since the dishwasher door can be open for several minutes at a time. Number four, locate the dishwasher near a trash bin. Because most cleanup involves scraping food scraps into a garbage disposal within the sink and or a trash bin, putting a trash bin near the dishwasher is helpful. Although it may not serve as the main trash bin, Think about putting at least a small pull-out garbage can for food scraps under your sink or within cabinetry near your sink. With more than one person cleaning up dishes, the best place to put a food scrap bin is beside, not under, a sink, unless you have an especially large sink. If you have enough room around your dishwasher, consider this island or base cabinet arrangement for easy cleanup. From left to right, Put drawers for everyday dishes, then the dishwasher, next the sink, and then the trash bin. Or 
If you want your dishwasher to be to the right of your sink, you can arrange it like this. Trash bin, sink, dishwasher, then drawers for dishes. Speaking of that, tip number five has to do with whether you should put your dishwasher on the right or left of your sink. Number five, although there is no truly correct answer, and I've read that you'll get used to either arrangement over time, a good rule of thumb is that right-handed people should put the dishwasher on the left of the sink, and left-handed people should put the dishwasher on the right of the sink. That's because right-handed people will naturally hold a dish in their non-dominant left hand and use their dominant right hand to scrape and wash the dish or rinse it, and then move easily to load the dishes with their left hand into a dishwasher positioned to the left of the sink. The opposite applies to left-handed people. But people are often creatures of habit, so they sometimes prefer to locate the dishwasher in their new kitchen on the same side of the sink that it was positioned in their old kitchen, regardless of whether they're left or right-handed. Because you'll likely get used to a dishwasher either on the right or left of your sink, create a layout that works best for the rest of your kitchen and the placement of your other appliances. Don't force your dishwasher into a left of the sink or right of the sink position at the expense of creating a poor layout for the entire kitchen. Number six, if you have a large house and do a lot of entertaining, you might want to consider adding your primary dishwasher or a second dishwasher in the butler's pantry. If you add a dishwasher and a second sink in the butler's pantry, your dirty dishes can be taken straight there after a dinner party and all dishes and pots and pans can be washed there, leaving the main kitchen neat and tidy. If you do a lot of informal entertaining or have a large family, consider adding a second dishwasher in the main kitchen so friends and family can help you load and unload after meals. And number seven, if you have chronic back pain or dislike bending down to load and unload your dishwasher, Think about elevating your dishwasher. Setting your dishwasher on top of a platform that's raised several inches off the floor or directly above a drawer or cabinet similar to a wall oven will be easier on your back. The cabinetry below the dishwasher can be used to store dishwasher tablets and dish towels. Think about these tips when considering the placement of your dishwasher, but as with everything, the most important things to keep in mind are how you specifically do the dishes. Visualize yourself loading and unloading your dishwasher and make the final decision about your dishwasher placement based on your habits and workflow. I hope these tips help you to figure out the perfect placement for your dishwasher. If you know someone who's building or remodeling a house and you think this episode would be helpful to them, you can share the show by text or email or on your social media channels, or on GroupMe. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts, aka iTunes, just tap the three small dots at the bottom right of the screen, then select the share button. Thanks for joining me this week. I hope you'll join me again next week for another episode of Build Your House Yourself University. Bye, hi, you. Please remember that the purpose of this podcast is simply to educate and inform. It's not a substitute for professional advice. The information that you hear is based only on the opinions, research, and experiences of my guests and myself. That information might be incomplete, it's subject to change, and it may not apply to your project. In addition, building codes and requirements vary from region to region, so always consult a professional about specific recommendations for your home.